this season's first team squad photo. You pretty much recognise most of the faces on here. What about this man right on the end here? That's Alex Panamarenko, first team performance analyst. What's his role within the squad? Neil Ardley now explains. Well, Neil Ardley, how important is the role of a first team performance analyst amongst your backroom staff? Um, vital games, you know, going massively in the direction of um, you know video analysis. Uh, moved on now to stats. If you look on on Sky and on all the big games, stats are huge. They're talking about uh, distance covered as far as GPS. They're talking about um, chances created, touches on the ball, effect of the game. Um, you know, and there's a big thing now with expected goals. You know, teams that are expected to, to score from certain positions and. For me, they help us to, you know, when times aren't going great, when, when results aren't coming quite your way, you can look back through the stats and, and actually see, A, whether the team's performing, um, B, whether you're getting the just, you know, rewards from a game. And, and sometimes it helps you to know that you've got to keep going and you're on the right path and it will turn. Um, the percentages will tell you it will turn. And other times you, you need to look and say something's got to change here and it can work all ways, but you need to collect that data. You need to collect that data for team selection. Um, sometimes your eyes miss what's actually going on. Uh, the game happens so fast. So these people are vital and at clubs, big clubs now, they have, you know, war rooms full of these people analysts and data collecting people to give them the best stats on recruitment, the best stats on their team performance, uh, everyone's doing it they're the, the one and the two percent that could make a huge difference um, throughout a, a season so Alex is vital to us and we're putting more and more on him as time goes on Well we're down at the training ground now with first team performance analyst Alex Panamarenko who's going to take us through his role with the first team and also show us a few clips Alex, uh, what is the role of the performance analyst in football these days? Tell us about it. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, so since the Neil Hartley has come in, he's probably introduced the performance analyst role to this club. Um, main roles within the analysis department would be filming home and away matches. Uh, that's one of the main key things, because they'll have to watch back footage from the game and like, tell the players whether they've gone right and wrong. Uh, during the match, you can do um, what I like to do for Neil is like live stats, so I'll go down at half time, feed some information into him, and it'll like, hopefully help him with his team talk and the way the game's going. It might see a different point of view. As well as that, there'll be post match coding, we call it, which is categorizing the match into different parts. So, for example, all crosses, corners, shots, chances, goals, there'll be different sections in, within my clips at the end of the game, which I'll then show to Neil and the coaching staff. As well as this, before during the build-up to the game, we like to do opposition analysis. So some of the coaching staff will watch their own footage, and what I like to do is clip all set pieces, goals, any sort of like long throw or specific things that clubs will do. I'll then give this to the coaching staff, and they'll watch it back, and from there maybe take on a different sort of set plays during the game, maybe uh, set up different ways, all depending on what they've seen. Well, Ashley Bayes, we're talking to Alex Panamarenko about his role as first team performance analyst. How much has he helped? Alex, uh, Alex has been brilliant to be fair since he came in. Um, he's progressed really well. Um, he doesn't just do stuff just for the first team. He does each department. So from a goalkeeper point of view, he does a lot of stuff for me regarding um, teams, uh, their set plays, penalties. Um, and sort of players who, are, who, who take free kicks and, and, and all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, he also helped me a lot on uh, recruiting George Long, um, which went back, took us three months to nail it, but um, he's, uh, he's, he's been a real big help for me. I mean, quite demanding on him, but um, he's always willing to help and uh, I can't praise the lad enough to be fair. He's a key member to have as part of the backroom team, isn't he? Yeah, very much so. Doesn't get the credit he deserves at times because he's behind the scenes, but he's included in everything. Um, as Not just myself, but myself, Coxie, um, Bass, Reevesy, the gaffer. Um, we, all, we all ask a lot of him because obviously we need stuff to help our, uh, our training sessions um, and on our match analysis. And he's good with me because sometimes I'll get him down the training ground and he'll film a goalkeeping session so I can play back to the goalkeepers. Um, so, you know, anything you ask him, he's, he's, he's brilliant. He's a, he's a great lad and he's, he's uh, really involved in the group. 
and generally it's something that you have to have in this modern day and age of football isn't it before yeah it, it, the modern the modern era now is yeah, every every team every team every club um have um have um analysis so it, it's a big uh, big thing in the in the group and he's he's been great one of the things that you've been really involved in recently was the recruitment of the new number one goalkeeper George Long he's been yeah. a real hit with the fans uh, what was your role in that? How did you get involved in? Yeah, in so um, at the back end of last season, the gaffer gave Bezos a task of finding a new number one for us, and he thought it'd be a good idea to get me involved. So Bezos came up to me, and we had a, a list of fifteen targets, and from there I created a report on each player, um, each goalkeeper, highlighting where the clubs they've been at, uh, their general height, weight, etc., age, and uh, just how many appearances and stuff they played, which worked out very well and then alongside them reports we had a lot of video footage of each keeper just making various saves different aspects of their game which we then came into this room and I presented to them alongside Bezo on a uh, just for each keeper and from there we got whittled it down to three keepers and George Long was our number one. Yeah it's been absolutely fantastic I mean including recently the superb save he made against Blackburn Rovers so we should just look at that one again? Yeah so I don't think he got as much credit as he does for this save because it was an important moment in the game and it's a fantastic save as you'll soon see. Yes, yeah, so today match day, so I just thought I'd show you a bit of my view and the equipment that I'm using. So first of all, the main part is the camera. It's a wide angle camera, so as you can see, it'll it'll be a wide angle, very zoomed out. So then when we're watching it back, the gaffer, Coxie, etc., you can see the movements of the players on and off the ball, both our attacking and defensive positions, which is quite good for uh, reviewing the matches. Second part, I always have my laptop. So after the game, I'll upload the footage onto there, and then the gaffer and anyone can watch anything back straight after the game, just in case they want to see anything quickly, any sort of decisions or goals. Uh, my iPad, that will be help me coding for when I go back through the game on the uh, Sunday. It helps me like, see where the crosses, shots, goals, etc. were on a timeline, and then I can edit them from there. And then I'll just have a notepad and use that to make any sort of stats that the gaffer may want, that we've been working on in training. I'll then feed that back to him at half time, running down across the pitch quickly. And yeah, just from there, that's the main parts of the equipment really. But I thought this is a different part that the fans probably never see. Just wanted to show my view from uh, up here. So it's not the, the tallest, but it's probably one of the better views from, the, uh, from what I've experienced. But you do go to places like, for example, Charlton coming up, they're really high up, very weird getting up there. You have to go back of the stand, fold up, fold down ladders, come down. And yes, these are going to grounds that I've been to as a kid, like supporting my own team and going to see the change rooms, going onto the pitch and stuff is very quite, quite a weird feeling, sort of, but very enjoyable feeling, especially when we win. How did you get involved? Because you're a local lad. How did you get into this? <laughs> yeah, so during my last year at university, at Kingston University, so just around the corner from the training ground, I had the opportunity to come and work with the under-21s team. So working alongside Alan Reeves. And then from there, the opportunity arose to work with the first team during the, our League 2 promotion season. So from the second half of the season onwards, I was with the first team. And what an experience it was. Absolutely. And give us an idea of your working week. Um, so maybe the Monday or Tuesday, depending on our uh, schedule, I'll come in with three discs, so the full match, uh, one for the uh, goalkeepers, which Bezo will watch over, and then one for uh, Neil Cox, he'll have his own sort of clips, defensive clips, and then from there the, uh, the coaching staff will gather together, maybe watch the match back, watch my clips, and if they need to speak to any players individually, they'll bring them into this room and watch it through the TV here, as you can see. And um, maybe I'll also do um, a post-match stats report as well, which they'll get on an email on the Sunday. And from there, they can see if there's anything specific which is highlighted. After that, I'll then 
look at who we're playing on the Saturday and I'll get their last couple of games and from there click all set plays for um, Neil and etc to watch back and um, as well as this what Basel likes me to do is find the penalty takers so if there's a penalty in the game or if it's a cup game we've covered the penalty takers so we have a rough idea of potentially where they may go during the game for the keepers and Basel to look at so just hopefully like, can prepare us in some sort of way. Because I do a lot of stuff with set plays, um, we have like certain set piece routines, which like from watching my the opposition clips back, maybe so this is one of my favourite ones. This involves Lyle Taylor, and he scored a few in the past season from it. I just wanted to to show, like you can see from my footage, you can see different sort of movements within the players, which help create this goal. talk about in terms of how you found working at the club here. It's a special club to work for, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, very unique club and the term family club is used a lot and it genuinely is because everyone knows everyone here and there's such a great bond between staff and players and it's really nice to see like, the banners. I never come in and I'm never leaving like, unhappy. It's such a great environment to work in. I always want to come into work. But I'm always here laughing and having a joke as well as being when the time comes to be serious. All the coaching staff and the backroom staff, from Jay to Stuart, are all brilliant. And yeah, it's just such a great place to work at. Credit to the gaffer as well. I mean, he's, uh, he's built the facilities up down here, he's uh, made this analysis room. You'll work in the office out there, and I should imagine it's a good camaraderie amongst you all, yeah? Yeah, so when I first came in, this was never here, like a lot of people have said, but it's brilliant and it's, like gives them a place to have meetings and talk to the players privately. And yeah, like, I've got my own space in the office, which is nice, and to be involved is brilliant. Just fine in terms of the role of, of the football analyst as well. I mean, obviously, there's, there's plenty of scrutiny on Monday mornings in terms of the Premier League. The media look at every move that's made as well, but it's, it's such an important situation in terms of within inside the club as well now. How do you see it growing in terms of from your job, your point of view? Yeah, so technology is overtaking, or not overtaking, but being involved in football a lot now, and I think that it's getting that fine balance between the coaching staff's knowledge and what they see and using what me and maybe the sports scientists use all the stats to back up what they're finding through the game. I think it's just making sure we get that balance between the two and not making sure that stats aren't the, the bible of the football nowadays. I think we've also got to talk about a few special moments as well. I suppose the biggest one for you of all was, was going to Wembley wasn't it in terms of the playoff final? Yeah that's my first time ever seeing a playoff final at Wembley and you know, you really felt like you could see how much everyone wanted it during that season and it was massive. To see him lift it was brilliant and you can see how much hard work went into it and I was so happy for everyone, including the gaffer and the staff and fans. There's one more clip you wanted to show us as well? Yeah, probably one of my favourite moments I think since we were in the club is Jake Reeves' goal in the York game. He, uh, to me it was such an important goal and what a strike it was.